Hello and welcome to part 2 of this video, which will show you how to model a 3D character for beginners. In this part, we're going to model the clothes, we're going to add materials, and we're going to attach the face texture to our model. I've also provided some hairstyles for you to use, which are linked in the description. First up, we're going to make the clothes. We're going to extract faces from the body to create the clothes. Turn your reference back on. Press numpad 1 for front view. Select the body mesh, then press tab to go into edit mode. Turn on x-ray from up here. Press free for face selection. Start selecting faces where the shirt should go. Hold down shift to keep adding more faces to your selection. If you want to deselect something here, you can hold down control. Keep selecting until you've selected the whole area that the shirt covers. Make sure to check under the arms and around the neck to make sure that everything is selected properly. Here I'm just turning off x-ray so you can see more clearly. What you can also do is hold down shift and double click between an edge loop to select the whole loop. Here maybe we need the neckline to be a bit wider so I'll just deselect some of the faces. I'm holding down control to deselect any unwanted faces. Nice, now you have everything selected for the t-shirt. What we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate these faces and then separate them into their own object. To do that, with the faces still selected in edit mode, press Shift D to duplicate them. Click to confirm. Then press P and choose selection to separate the selected faces into a new object. Now press tab and go into object mode. You see the t-shirt is its own object. Now we just need to scale it up so it doesn't intersect with the body and instead sits on top of the body. To do that, with the t-shirt object selected, press tab and go into edit mode. Press A to select everything. Press Alt S to scale everything along the normals. This moves the t-shirt out slightly so it no longer intersects with the body. This bottom edge on the t-shirt here needs to be straightened. Press 2 for edge selection, then double click the bottom edge loop to select it. Press S, Z and 0 to flatten the edge. Nice! Now let's do the same process we did for the t-shirt to make the shorts. Press tab and go into object mode. Select the body mesh. Press tab to enter edit mode. Press numpad 1 for front view. Turn on X-ray from up here. Press free for face selection. Select all the faces where the shorts should be. Then with the faces selected, press Shift D to duplicate the faces. Then press P and choose selection to separate the faces into their own object. Now in object mode, select the shorts object. Press tab and enter edit mode. Select everything with A. Press Alt S to scale out the shorts along the normals. Nice! The t-shirt here needs to be scaled over the shorts. To do that, go back into object mode. Select the t-shirt and press tab to enter edit mode. Select all faces with A. Press Alt S to scale everything out a bit so it just sits cleanly over the shorts. Now press tab and go into object mode. Now your character has a basic outfit. Next, we're going to add a 2D face as a separate mesh. Turn on your reference. Select the body object. Press numpad 1 for front view. Press tab to enter edit mode. Make sure that x-ray is turned off here. You just want to select faces on the front of the head. Press free for face selection. Select the front face area of the head. This is where we'll be applying the 2D face texture. You'll be able to swap this image if you wanted to, to change the expressions. We won't be covering that in this tutorial, but it's a common technique. Next, extract the face. Press Shift D to duplicate the selected faces. Click to confirm. Then press P, Selection, to separate the faces into their own object. Now press Tab and go into Object Mode. Select the new face mesh. Press G and Y to move it just slightly forward so it sits in front of the head. 
Next up, before we add materials and UVD face plane, let's just quickly fix something. This t-shirt here is hanging off the body a little bit weird because we scaled it along the normals. To fix this, select the t-shirt. Press G and Z to move it down slightly and just make sure it doesn't clip into the arms. If you need to adjust it further, you can go into edit mode, enable proportional editing from this circle icon here, and then select the top area on the t-shirt here. Now when you press G and Z to move the edge down, this also grabs the surrounding area with a soft fall off. This way you can adjust a bigger area in one go. Once you're done, don't forget to turn off proportional editing from this button again. Okay, now that we have the body, clothes and face mesh ready, next up we're going to be applying materials to everything and then adding a 2D texture to the face mesh. Let's start with the materials first. To be able to see your materials, click on the viewport shading icon here. Let's do the body material first. Select the body and then in the material properties, click on this minus icon to remove the default material. Click on new to add a new material. Name it body underscore material. Here is good practice to always name your material so you know which one is which. Now give the material a skin tone color from the base color. Also, adjust the roughness here to 0.8 so your material isn't too shiny. We want to apply the same material to the ears. In object mode, select the ears. From this icon, choose the body material that we created earlier. Next, let's do the t-shirt. Select the t-shirt object. Remove the current material from the minus icon. Click on new to add a new material. Name it t-shirt material. Choose a color, for example blue, and then set the roughness to 0.8. Next up, let's do the shorts. Select the shorts object, remove the current material, then add a new one. Name it shorts material. Pick a contrasting color, red for example. Set the roughness to 0.8 again. You can always tweak these material settings later, play with the roughness, specular and color values to get exactly what you want. Your colors here will look a little bit different from what you set them in the base color. To fix that, go to render properties here. Scroll down to color management and set the view transform to standard. This disables Blender's color post-processing so you can see your colors exactly as they are. Now you might want to adjust your colors again if needed. Okay. All done with the materials for the body and the clothes. Quick break. If you're enjoying this tutorial and want to support my work, join me on Patreon. I post exclusive tutorials, behind the scenes snippets from my animation project called The Magical Adventures of Gizmo and Oz, and more. Your support helps me keep creating and in return you get access to exclusive content that I don't share anywhere else. Link to my Patreon is down below. Okay, now back to the video. Next, let's do the face. For the face, we're going to apply a 2D texture to the front plane that we extracted earlier. To do that, select the face mesh. Add a new material from the plus sign. Name it face material. Now we want to apply a texture to this material. But in order to apply texture, we first need to create UVs. UVs tell Blender how to wrap a 2D image onto a 3D object. I have detailed instructions on how to UV your characters in my other videos. For this video, we'll just be doing simple UVs. Okay, in the top right corner, hover over the corner of the viewport until you see this crosshair. Click and drag to open a new window. In this window, from this button, change the editor type to UV editor. Next, select the face mesh. Press tab and go into edit mode. Press A to select everything. Press U and then choose Smart UV Project. After that, click OK. This unwraps the mesh automatically, so it creates your UVs automatically without you needing to do much. It's perfect for simple shapes. Now you see your UVs in the UV editor on the right here. With all of them selected, press R to rotate the UV map if needed. Make sure that the bottom of the face faces the right way. You can use G to move the UVs or S to scale them. Next, let's add our image texture to the face material. 
In the bottom window here, from this button, switch to the shader editor. The shader editor is where you adjust your materials. You should see the principled BSDF shader here. Now let's add a texture node. Press Shift A, search for image texture. Click on image texture and place it in the shader editor. Then in the image texture node, click open. I've provided a face texture in the description or you can draw your own in Procreate or Photoshop. Okay, so navigate to where you have your face texture and select it. Connect the color output of the image texture to the base color of the principled BSDF shader. Now the face will turn black. To fix that, connect the alpha output of the image texture to the alpha input of the shader. Now the face should become see-through. You can see there's a little bit of stretching on the face image here. Let's fix that. Turn on the reference image so we can line things up visually. Select the face mesh. Press tab and enter edit mode. In the UV editor, select all faces with A. Then press S and Y to scale the UV vertically. Press G and Y to move up the UVs. Do this until the face texture lines up nicely with the reference image. You can use front view for accuracy. Now our face is all done. Let's just turn up the roughness on the material to make it look better. In the material properties, set the roughness to 1. You can also disable the shadows cast by the face plane. To do that, select the face plane, go into object properties here, and under visibility, disable shadow. This prevents the 2D texture from casting a shadow on the model. Next, let's give our character a cute little nose. Here, right-click between the two areas and choose Join Right to close the UV editor. Turn on the reference. Press Tab and go into Object Mode. Press Shift A and then from Mesh, add a cube. Move the cube up with G and Z and move it forward with G and Y. Press Numpad 1 to enter Front View. Scale the cube down with S and then use SZ to flatten it a bit. Use G to position the cube sort of in this area. What we're going to do now is we're going to merge the top vertices to make this triangular shape. Press Tab to enter Edit Mode. Press 1 for vertice selection. Select all the top vertices. Press M and choose at Center to merge them into one point. This creates the triangular shape. Select the vertices and use S and X to sharpen the shape up a little bit more to match the reference. Adjust the position using G and Y and G and Z. Here you want to make sure that the nose is flush with the face so you don't have a gap. If I turn off the reference, you can see that we now have a cute little nose for our character. Next, let's add a material to the nose. In the material properties, click on New. Use the eyedropper tool to grab the skin color from the body. Darken it slightly and add a bit of red to make it more nose-like. Increase the roughness to reduce the shininess of the nose. Nice, all done. Final step, which is optional, shoes. I think my character was looking a little chilly, um, so I decided to give them some shoes. Select the body, press tab to go into edit mode, Press numpad 1 to enter front view. Then turn on x-ray mode and select all the faces covering the feet. Like we did before, press shift D to duplicate the selected faces. Then press P, selection, to separate the shoes into their own object. Next, let's scale these up. Press tab and go into object mode. Select the new shoes object. Press tab and go into edit mode. Press A to select all the faces. Press Alt-S to scale everything along the normals. This way the shoes will fit over the feet. Next, let's add the material to these. In the material properties, assign the same material as the t-shirt. That gives the shoes a matching look. Now they have shoes. Our character is warm and color coordinated. Want to also add hair to your character? I've made a set of hairstyles that you can use, both long and short. You can download them from the link in the description. To import one, go to File, Import, FBX. You might need to reposition or scale the hairstyles to fit your model. And that is everything for this tutorial. If you've made it this far, congratulations! 
You now know how to make a simple stylized character in Blender. Well done! If you learned something new from this video, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a comment and share this video with a friend. If you want to learn how to make the hair yourself and how to add more detailed clothes to your character, I have an extra tutorial on Patreon that covers all of this. If you join my Patreon, for just £4 a month you'll get access to the more in-depth tutorial, access to all my other 3D tutorials and courses, and behind-the-scenes content from my animation project called The Magical Adventures of Gizmo and Oz. If you finish the character, please tag me on social media, I would love to see it. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye!